Hello YouTube, Jedimon2005 here with a review of the Shuriken Sentai Ninja Shuriken Gatai DX Shuri Kenjin. Ding ding. Uh, so this is the box, right? It's our team standard mecha big old box here. Uh, we see a couple things right away. Shura, Ninja logo up here. We see Shuri Kenjin right there. We see the five Ultimo Nin, right? Shinobi Maru, Drago Maru, Dump Maru, Wan Maru, and Bune Maru. Then we see it can also be Shuri Kenjin Drago, which we'll show that. Uh, over here we got sounds, there are sounds included. And then over here we see DX, uh, Shuriken Gatai, right here, and then Shuri Kenjin. Um, and this is a first release bonus that has three extra sets of Shuriken Blades. Um, on the top we see, look, you can convert it between uh, the red set of blades and the blue. Um, and then we see the five Otomo Nin and who they belong to. Right, there's Shurikenjin Drago. And then regular Shurikenjin on this side. There you go, let's focus on the box this time. Okay, on the back, uh, same thing, right, if you put Shinobi Maru in the center, you get this. If you put Drago Maru in the center, you get this. And you use your Shuriken with your uh, Ichibanto. Um, that's that's really all you got. Uh, so, and the bottom is just kind of their faces. Which is pretty cool, I guess. Okay, so let's take a look at what you get in the box. Uh, it comes, I believe it was like this. Um, we have an arm, right, to give you this tail score. Juan Maru was all um, folded up on himself. Shinomi Maru, right? Drago Maru, wings. I mean, there was just like shit, shit just everywhere. Um, you got these two things right here, and then this, right? That's just a whole pile of crap in this box. Okay, so um, let's let's start to go through it, right? We're gonna pull it all to the side, and then we're going to separate everything out. So this is Shinobi Maru. Okay, uh, Aka Ninja's Ultimo Nin. So it's a little person. Um, you can see here, and he's got uh, the Ninja logo on his chest, right? And uh, his arms don't really move all that much. Um, his knees, or his legs bend. Um, and it does absolutely nothing else. Okay, now to make Drago Maru, I am going to pull these back, right? And then I've got the tail that I'm going to. Let's see. This always like takes me a minute to work my brain through it. Uh, the the tail is going to go on here, and what well, you need you need to separate this. The tail goes on here because it all has to plug together like a certain way. Okay, and then the wings. There's two ports on here and two ports on here, so the wings are going to go on uh, like this, on this side. Okay. There you go. And then I'm just going to bring the legs back so he stands. Uh, his arms do move. He... Does not open his mouth at all. You know, you can see it's all one piece. Um, he's got the ninja logo right here on the chest. Um, the legs move as one combined unit. All right, so that is Drago Maru. Okay, so let's let's put him right here. Next will be Dump Maru. Now in order to separate Dump Maru, uh, there's this lever here, and you push it up, and that allows it to slide apart. So we'll put them on the side. Right, and uh, we will lift this whole piece up right from right here. We will uh, leave this exactly like this. Uh, we're gonna fold. Let's see if this is gonna fold in. Oh, the wheel has to come out. All right, so the wheel comes out. That's one wheel because this is the front of your truck. Right, so the wheel comes out and this folds in and it all kind of happens at one time. Okay, so what we're going to do is to fold, to get the other wheel in, we're actually going to turn the hand and then, right, 
so that it pops out. Okay, and it will snap into place. This will then snap on into these pegs where it's lifted at. And we'll see Dump Maru, right? So we got the little shuriken symbol there. Um, it's a dump truck, right? It does roll. Okay, and then if I pull this out, right, I can actually bend him like this so he's sitting. And Shinobi Maru can ride around in the dump truck like a boss right so that is something he can do and that's kind of neat so we got all three of those right here those are the three guys now going on to what the girls have um first is uh white so it probably if i had to guess came in the box like folded up like this uh this is one maru we're just gonna fold the feet out it's an adorable little doggy <laughs> right and the front and back legs move as a unit uh, and, uh, the head, right, it tilts up, which is mostly for, you know, com combinations and such. The mouth does open like this, right? So we do have Juan Maru, like, so, right here for Shiro Ninja. And then finally we have Bune Maru, the train for Momo Ninja. So it's feet like this. There's a lever right here. If I push it. I pull it forward, this folds down, there's a lever, I push, this is the one I push, this folds down, and I'm just going to straighten it out, right? And then I got a train. Okay, so Bun Maru. And what's neat about Bun Maru is that Wan Maru can actually ride around in it, either standing up, or if I fold the legs in, you can sit down. And he can get ridden around town, right? So Wan Maru can ride in Bune Maru. Shinobi Maru can ride in Dump Maru. And then Drago Maru just flies around going, I'm a dragon. I do dragon things. Right, and you can see um, the front of the train has the shuriken symbol. Um, so yeah, that's our five Otomo Nin. Okay. Um, next up is the shuriken. So this is the centerpiece of all the uh, Otomo Nin shuriken. So when I push the button in the back, it cycles through all five and then it'll say Ultima Nin Shuriken. Um, the, I don't want to say default, but kind of your basic one you're going to use a lot is red. Just simply because uh, that's kind of the base form. So this is the, the blades for red. And you can see it is a little bit different. This is the Aka Ninja Shuriken. So the design is slightly different just so that it's a helmet. Kind of fancy look, but it's still got the same curvature on it. Okay, this piece folds down, right? Is going to make your shuriken engine face. Okay, just like this. Um, so, and this does no additional sounds. Okay, just because of the blade, right? The blades changing out the blades does absolutely nothing. This is Drago Maru's. Um, set of blades, right? Blues. Uh, I'm going to stick this on and twist. Right? Uh, you know, no special sounds. Now, first release bonus, guys. You get this little white box in your in your Shurik Engine box that gives you blades for Key Ninja, Shiro Ninja, and Momo Ninja. So what happens is they'll just go on here like this. They don't do anything differently with Shurikenjin, right? Or with the um, Ichibanto or anything like that. It just gives you a different look, um, you know, to the actual disc. So that way you can actually feel like you're summoning Wanmaru as Shiro Ninja, for example, as opposed to always having the red blades on there or the blue blades, I guess, and, you know doing whatever so this is the others right there okay so let's let's get all this out the way let's put the red blades back on okay red blades back on like this okay now let me get the Ichiban toe in here okay Okay. 
さあ消火So that's actually kind of the, the point of it. If I, let's see, let me take this off and cycle through the sound. This should be, okay. Ultimate and Shuriken. Now when I hit it. Dalaija, who's there? Shinobi Maru. Alright, so every time I spin it, you get the Daraija, Daraija. And there's no special sound difference for each one. And all it's doing is pushing the back button like we saw with the other disc. One Maru. Dune Maru. And he goes to Earth Ultimate and Shuriken. If I hit the other buttons. That's all it's gonna do, right? It's gonna go to the next item in line. It, it just goes to the the next thing in line. So moving along from that. Alright, we're putting the sword out the way. We're now going to make Shuriken. So I'm gonna start with the legs because it's easy and we're gonna work our way up. So what we're gonna do is here, I pulled Juan Maru out and I'm actually gonna turn him around and clip him in, right? He's just gonna clip in like this. And I'm gonna lift the head and I'm gonna fold this piece up so it will sit neatly like this. And I'm gonna fold these in and fold this up. Legs, okay? Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Dump Maru. I'm gonna pull the front off and I'm gonna fold this piece down. Right now, if you remember from how it came in the box, it's going to kind of sit like this. I'm going to pull these down. Right now, this is going to be your controls if you're sure a Kenjin, right? You're, you're controlling it. Okay, so I've got that. And then what I want to do is, oops, I just pop that piece off. I want to fold uh, the, let's see, the wheels in like this. And then I want to turn. Uh, the wrist like that. Okay, that's actually going to attach onto here. Okay, now, right now, I'm going to take Drago Maru and I'm going to completely disassemble him because you know assembling him wasn't fun enough. I'm going to straighten him out and then fold the feet all the way forward. Right, turn him around this way. Now he's an arm. I'm going to attach it on here. Okay, so I got arms. Now I'm going to take, right, his tail is obviously now a sword. And if I take his wings and I clip them together, right, with that peg and that hole, it will become a shield. Right, and you see two pegs right here and two pegs right there on the bottom of the feet, or that's the back of the feet. So we'll just line that up and now there's a shield, right, Oops. shield. Okay, so we're just gonna slide this together. All right. Okay. Now, Shinobi Maru, all we really have to do is just kind of sit him. That's it. He's done. He's gonna sit in. Um, he's gonna sit in the center here. All right. So, um, in fact, let me. I'm gonna slide this off so I can just set it down and show you. So he's gonna sit in here like this. And then I'm gonna put the controls in his hands so they look like that, okay? So that's one set of controls. And he's all kind of rubbery plastic so that he can just bend around it real easy. 
All right, so he will sit in there like this. Okay. All right. Shuri Kenjin, you can see the foot feet on the footrest. Now, I'm going to take, where is it at? Right here. There you go. If I fold this forward. I've got the helmet. Okay, there are clips right here, as we saw on the on our other um, our other shuriken. I'm just gonna fit them right up here. Shurikenjin. Shurikenjin. And it gives me the same sound. I hold it. I got the same sound, right? So, but it, that's pretty neat. So now I'm gonna slide him back, right? You see Shurikenjin right here, and then I can take the dragon sword and slide it into his hand like this, and now he is ready. One of the neat things about this is because of the unique nature of the trains, being able to bend and curve and whatever, it gives him like added leg articulation <laughs> that he wouldn't normally have that these, these mecha usually don't have. So that's pretty cool. Um, but, um, you know, this is him, right? I like him. I actually think it's a... Okay, well, that was fun. All right, uh, I think he's a really cool design. Like, it's definitely a unique, interesting concept. Uh, now what we're going to do is I'm going to swap out Shinobi Maru with Drago Maru. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to take this helmet off, right? Cool. And take the arm, and I'm going to take um, him out, and I'm going to take the sword. So let's do that, and then I'm gonna, we're going to go from there. So sword and Shinobi Maru. Okay. I love it. Hands. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. First, I'm going to start with him. Uh, we're going to straighten him back up. And you may have noticed that if I fold his hands back, his legs back like this, he's got a hand there, right? He's an arm now. So I'm going to lift his arms up, all right, which is about all the motion that you'll get out of him. Um, and now I'm going to attach it um, as the new left arm. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and slide this off again. Okay. This is off. I took off the, um, what you call that? The shield. I'm like, I know there's words for that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the shield apart. Right, and I'm actually going to attach it as wings on the back here, okay, just like we did um, before. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see, make sure I put the right wing on the right side, okay? So there's two plugs on each side, all right? We're just going to line them up and plug it on so that now he's got wings. Okay, and uh, Drago Maru, we're going to sit him in there like this, and his hands kind of go around the, the, um, the, the controls. Alright, we'll slide this back on, and you got to kind of, you lean it forward like this. Um, the tail, right, will attach, there's two plugs right here on his butt, so he's got a tail. All right, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to pop off this blade and pop the other one on. Now, in order for it to fit, because what it's actually going to do is it's not going to go into those plugs. It's going to go into the top of Drago Maru's head, which I'm going to show in a second. What we're going to do is we're going to stick the blades on. Then we're going to fold this all the way forward like a dragon's mouth. You can see it makes a dragon's mouth. Now. That's that's gonna go into here, right in there, and you see the dragon's head. It will fit right there. Shuri Kenjin Dorago. So that's pretty cool. Right, I like that. You can see right the combination's got wings, a tail, 
There's Shinobi Maru on this side, right? Dump Maru still on this side. Everything's the same. All that's changed is we swapped out the guy in the center um, with one of the arms. Shuri Kenjin Dorago. So that's it. That's this year's main mecha, um, main robo before we get any of the additions and attachments. I'm going to go ahead and switch him back to the regular mode while I conclude this out. Um, like I said when we first transformed Shuri Kenjin, I like this guy. Um, I, I like the idea, I like the concept, and I like that you can like swap parts around. Right, he can, he, um, it can either be the dragon or Shinobi Maru, um, and then later on you can, you know, we get the auxiliaries, which as of recording this, Pal Maru the elephant just came out, and then, um, in a few days we'll have UFO Maru, the second one, um, and then those will combine and, and trade out parts and, and do different things, and that's neat, I, I, you know, um, it's definitely a new take on it. Especially with having everything be a different motif. There's no unifying thing. Um, and apparently that's intentional because that's what they thought would be fun to do for the 39th Sentai. Which apparently is also the 40th airing year or something. Um, you can um, use the um, like Aka Ninja Shuriken. I can stick it in here. All right, And it'll look like this. It makes absolutely no sounds, um, and any of the shuriken right, from the the main, like the shuriken, the nin ninja. I keep want to say shurikenjin or shurikenjer. The any of the shuriken from any of the nin ninja um, will work and do the same thing, and they won't give you any sounds. So, I definitely like this guy. I would definitely say to pick it up if you like the ninja. Um, I love it, and uh, I think I think you will too. Uh, so until next time, check out the podcast, RadFanJamnables.com, bringing you the latest Toku news and creative way possible. As always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.